Item Number SCP-297 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-297 is to be kept in a standard locked box at Site-19's High Value Item Storage Facility. Standard Positive Action Defenses Explosive, Chemical, Biological, and Mimetic are to be in place at all times, according to standard operating procedure. Personnel wishing to utilize SCP-297 for experimental or field purposes must fill out a Form 32 and submit it to the Head of Research and Containment. SCP-297 is a transparent plastic vibrator, approximately 30 cm in length, 5 cm in width. Examination has determined that the internal structure has been heavily altered, and that the standard 6-volt power supply has been converted into what appears to be a micronized nuclear reactor, powered by a small quantity of plutonium. In addition, the standard power intensity controls have been altered from the normal on-off switch with secondary intensity dial, to a single five-stage selector switch. The bottom four intensity levels, off, low, medium, high, appear to be within normal parameters for such a device and can be used safely for such purposes if so desired. When turned to the highest intensity setting, labeled Suicide, SCP-297's vibration frequency swiftly increases to upwards of 200,000 kHz. If the upper portion of the device is touched to any solid material, SCP-297 will change frequency to one that causes a positive harmonic feedback loop in the object causing the object to lose cohesion within 60 seconds of continual contact. This invariably kills organisms that it is exposed to. Experimentation has determined that SCP-297 can disintegrate a 1 meter cube of concrete into powder within 10 seconds. The time required for other objects varies, based on the density and harmonic properties of the material. Due to the similarity between the effects of SCP-297 and SCP-1012, investigations of whether both effects or variations of the same phenomena are ongoing. Addendum. Circumstances of Retrieval SCP-297 was retrieved from the third basement of the parking structure of a 30-story apartment building in Los Angeles, California on According to eyewitnesses, the device bored a vertical hole through the entire building's northwestern corner starting from the 30th floor and proceeding floor by floor through the entire structure, until a maintenance worker neutralized the device by turning it off. All witnesses were detained and administered Class A amnestics, and the device was retrieved by Foundation personnel. A large quantity of organic slurry, later identified as a liquefied human body, was found on the 13th floor, at the upper limit of the damage. <laughs>